Let my story be one that advises caution on too much of the social media shit, man. It can fuck you up. It can give you an image of what you want your life to be. And it can get blown completely out of proportion, dog. Unfortunately, it consumed me. And it made me forget about consequences to my actions. It made me forget that we have to pay for the things that we say. It made me forget that there are, um, there is weight behind words. So these were the words of Etika's last upload to social media. He was reported missing on June 19th and his body was found Monday in the East River. The cause of death has not been released, but it's believed to be suicide. For a while, since last year, um, Etika basically had been crying for help. His family, friends and fans had reached out to him about receiving help, but he declined. The reason why I played the recording of his last upload to social media is because he said something very critical. He said, I want this to be an example of what social media can do to you. It will fuck you up. People get on here every day and misuse and abuse their authority their popularity they're trying to keep up with this image they don't want to be perceived as a punk a pussy or a bitch and a lot of them truly are suffering from mental illness if you or you know someone who is in need of help even if you get the slightest indication that they need some type of assistance get it Everyone's trying to keep up with this fucking street code that doesn't even really fucking exist. And as a result of that, they make bad choices and bad decisions. Here I've posted the number, the nationwide number to the suicide hotline. If you yourself are feeling suicidal, please call it. And if you feel as though someone around you is crying for help and that they may be suicidal, you can call them as well. And they will tell you the triggers, the signs, and also the words to use to get them where they need to be. Put your pride to the side. I'm out.